nature is not good and it's not bad. Nature is neutral. Really, according to the Tanya, neutral is bad. <coughs> neutral is bad. It's like telling, saying to somebody, you know, they're taking away, the Nazis are taking people away to kill them. Whose side are you on? This side or that side? I'm, I'm in the middle. In the middle means that right, you're doing nothing. Now you say, if not with me, you're against. Neutral is the world. The world is neutral. Neutral is not good. Neutral. The world is supposed to reveal the creator. That's what the world is here for. The world is here for something. It's here to reveal the creator. That's what it's supposed to be. Right. What does it mean, revealing the creator? To reveal good. To reveal. Listen, a lot of times in our regular lives, we feel a little bit of God. How do you feel a little bit of God? When there's love. I talked about this before. When a person loves his parents, he loves his children, he loves, has a good friend that he loves. Right? Ideal love. He loves a personality. He loves somebody because of their good. People love the Rebbe. They love their teachers. Right? It's, a, it's a, an, an essential love. Even if the person is not alive anymore, they still love them. It's something that's above time. It's a good thing, right? Good thing. Love that. That's godliness. Feeling this thing that's above time. It's above nature. It's above nature. Other people say, right, that was one of the big sins of Freud. There's no such thing as genuine. There's nothing that is above nature. Everything is nature. Everything has an alternative motive. Everything was caused by something else in your youth. Right? Man is just a very complicated animal. Nature, that's all there is. Right? The goal of, of, of Freud and all these other people, just to get rid of your blockages and just flow with it, just do it, just go. Right? Just be nature. That's Okay, that's a philosophy, but it's not what Judaism says. Judaism says that nature is there to be a vehicle, a vessel, a tool to reveal that there's a creator, that there's a love inside of that nature. There's meaning. There's a heroism. There's inspiration inside of everything that there is in nature. You see this people, Beethoven and this, they just take regular tones and they make music from it. How in the world did they do that? This is because inside of nature there's something that's above nature. There's a beauty. There's beauty hidden. It says, the Rebbe, there's really beauty and meaning in every single detail of nature. That, says the Rebbe, who would ever believe it, is revealed by the Jews doing the Torah. As we'll talk about it in another minute.